So most of the time, once you start getting into drone racing, uh, you're going to want to build your own. Now they do come uh, already assembled and you can have them assembled. Uh, some places will custom assemble them for you. But most racers assemble their own and they put their own equipment on their own ESC, their board, uh, whatever, whatever it is they like to use. So there are probably four main parts that you have to solder up, that you have to learn how to solder. And each requires a little different technique, but it's pretty much the same. Uh, the first part is your battery. Um, you want to basically uh, have an XT60 plug, which is um, this type of plug here on this battery. Um, and so, uh, if the if it doesn't come with a plug, uh, you might in, you know you might have to replace it. So on this particular battery, I have a Dean's plug, and I want to take that off and put one of those plugs on. So we'll show you how to solder up a plug to a battery because that is a completely different technique as compared to other ones, and it's a much thicker battery. Then the, the next thing you do is you're going to have a um, basically a power distri distribution board like this and uh, you're going to be soldering up mostly your ESC's to this and then you're also going to be soldering up uh, your power cable to this or your power plug to this that's going to plug into your battery. Uh, so you got to you know solder onto that. From there uh, you're going to end up soldering, cutting these wires relatively short and soldering them onto the ESC and uh, that allows you to clean up and get rid of all these wires so you don't have extra weight on the bore on the uh, quad and uh, so you have to learn how to solder on those and then shrink wrap that once you're done. And probably the part that's going to require um, the most precise soldering is going to be to your controller board. Uh, this is a very small, there's very small little soldering ports there and a pencil solder, soldering gun is going to work the best. So you want to be careful about heat distribution on this board so you really want to make it quick and fast. So uh, I use a pencil soldering iron uh, for almost all of these and uh, this one works really well on it and again if you have it with a heat controller that allows you to use just about um, you know solder onto anything if you want to control the heat some more. Uh, I like to keep the heat high and then just touch it down for a brief amount of time. I feel that when the heat's low and you keep it on the board longer, uh, it dissipates the heat more and spreads it out and has more of a chance of uh, you know affecting the board. My own personal uh, philosophy on that, you don't have to follow that. You can use you know set the heat level to depend on what you're going to do. You would have it on very high for soldering onto a battery plug and very low or much lower uh, for soldering onto a board like this. So uh, those are the things that we're going to be soldering up. Let's check that out in the next movie.